What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna replace the stock tail lights and blinkers in my 66 Mustang with a set of aftermarket LED units. Um, it's no secret that the, the stock tail lights on these cars are, they're not very bright. Um, and unless you're going for some sort of concourse, you know, numbers matching, perfect replica of original car, I think this is one of those upgrades that is safe to do. You're not going to, you know, devalue your car by putting LED taillights in here. And, you know, if nothing else, it's just a good safety feature to have. And on top of that, I bought the style that has the sequential blinking. Um, I'm kind of a nerd. I like that kind of stuff. And so, and the nice thing is, is this, the LED lights that I bought, you have a switch on there and you can switch between the, the sequential lights or just regular you know, blinker. And uh, so we're gonna replace those. And also there's the, the flasher um, relay in, underneath the dash. We need to replace that. The, uh, the new LED taillights don't use the same current as, as these bulbs do in here. So we're gonna put in a, a little flasher that's designed to be used with the LED taillights. Let me show you real quick the parts that we've got to work with. So what we have is just these United Pacific brand LED taillights and then the same brand for the, uh, the flasher that we need to replace. And this unit right here, the nice thing is, is It'll just plug right into the existing wires and then we just need to ground it. Uh, we'll find a common ground, pretty easy to do. And then on these tail lights, again, these, these are the kind that have this switch on the back that you can, well, you, depending on which way you're, you know, the blinker, if you want the lights to chase that way or you want them to chase this way, you can flip the switch for that. But if you leave it in the center, uh, it's just a standard blinking. Also, um, this yellow wire right here, uh, we don't need this. I don't, this is something that if you guys want to have it so that it, it'll flash once before, when you put the brake lights on, instead of just coming on, it'll flash once and then stay on. This will allow you to do that. In fact, it talks about it on the back of the package here. You know, you need to cut one of the wires uh, off your brake light switch and run a wire to the back and then hook it up here. But we're not going to do that because I don't need that part. But the nice thing is this whole setup, you just plug it into the old light bulb port there and then uh, and then put the put them back on the car pretty simple anybody can put these on so uh, let's get started the first thing you're going to want to do is jump underneath the dash real quick and we're going to swap out this relay uh, this flasher here notice how there's uh, there's two wires there's an uh, orange wire and a gray wire uh, they are specific to the terminal so make sure you put the same wire back on the same terminal on the new flasher so i'm just going to do these one at a time so i don't mess it up notice the same v shape here of the terminals All right, now that we got that plugged in, now we need to find a ground for this. And this may be different on anybody's car. If you've got a screw somewhere in here, you can find. And uh, the, just the, the closest ground you can find is really what you want to do. Uh, so whatever works for you guys. And for me, it was easy just to use this screw right here as my ground. And now that we got that flasher done, now it's just downhill from there. It's just four screws on each side and you're done. So let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Make sure you save these screws and this housing because you're going to use it when you put it back together. So here's the, the OEM housing. Uh, you can tell if you've got the original, if it's got that Fomoco label on it. We're not going to use this anymore. In fact, there's supposed to be a gasket in between here and this metal uh, mount piece, but um, I didn't realize that we didn't have one here and I would have ordered it with the, with the relay or with the LED kit, but that's okay. I can go back and order those later. They're pretty cheap. So we don't need this. We're just going to go ahead and take the bulb out because we're not going to use that anymore. Now also pay attention to here how these, um, these little terminals there, th this is directional. So when you put the new one in, uh, it should only go in one way, but these are two different heights. So make sure you put that in because I think the, uh, either the blinker won't work or the brake light won't work if you don't put it in, in the right way. So here's the new one. Here's the old one. You can see just, you know, this is already a little bit brighter, so that'll be, that'll be nice to have, a little bit newer. Also, there is word, this says Premier, and this has got some DOT numbers. There is a, a way this goes, you know, you should mount it this way because the switch on the back will correspond with the, uh, the, the sequential blinking. So because it goes this way, if we move the switch to that side, the blinker should go that way as we're turning on. Also, remember, we've got to put this in a certain way. Okay, and then we don't remember, we don't need to use this yellow wire because I'm not going to use that uh, extra blink or the blinking of the brake light. So what I want to do before I put this on, I should go in there and turn the blinker on real quick and just make sure that everything works. All 
right, so we saw that the blinker works and the brake light works, so we can go ahead and just put this back on again. If you had that gasket, now's the time to put it on. And then there's also, this says top on here. Um, I'm guessing because it goes this way. Uh, I don't know if it fits the direction, but I've just followed the word top and you should be all right. And these screws are shallow. They don't go very deep, so you don't need to drive them in very far. All right, that's good. Uh, let's go to the other side and get that one done. Again, no gasket. That one's done too. All right guys, that was it. Super simple modification. Anybody can do this. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and you can replace those uh, kind of dull, worn out tail lights with something brighter and new and, uh, and something more, you know, much more safer for, for driving on the road these days. Uh, guaranteed to get, to get seen with those. Also, if you like the sequential blinking like I do, then, then there's always that added bonus. So, um, and then of course the, the flasher underneath the dash. Again, really easy. Unplug it, plug the new one in ground the wire, you're done. So guys, that's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.